نحمده نستعينه ونستغفره يا مجيب الدعوات يا ولي ولي الحسنات يا رافع الدرجات وفقنا لما تحب وترضى وصلي وسلم على رسولك وحبيبك صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد Today I want to talk about you know the civilized world what they do and what the civilized world when they gather to deliberate on the pressing issues of the world and when they gather to offer solutions to the world what do the global elite civilized world do so this is what I wanted to share with you today so you know they had a big meeting in davos 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 is how they say it davos so there was a pilgrimage of uh, of escorts and a pilgrimage of prostitutes and pilgrimage of sex workers where in davos to entertain uh the world elite the decision makers the influencers of the world this is what the civilized world does this is what the civilized world did participants of the world economic forum including many muslim leaders they met at davos the world economic forum annual meeting for a week a uh, cooperation of fragmented world they say and uh, so they're going to discuss things like climate issues uh human rights and the reset and the fourth industrial revolution and how to take the world forward and so on and so forth and so these leaders they must have been very serious you know this is the civilized world they must have been so serious and so deliberating and trying to do get their research work done and trying to get you know everything right they're leading the world but what we find the civilized world doing in meetings like this is instead of fighting slavery they are actually promoting a form of slavery in the world today okay which is prostitutes charged now you would think this is just a one or two no it was a pilgrimage escort in uh, companies from all over the world came here and prostitutes charged Dov Davos attendees uh one 2500 a night as sex workers demand balloon booms booms okay sex so they're they're having fun cheating on their wives cheating on their children cheating on their family while they're coming together to discuss the pressing world issues that the world cannot do without them without their deliberation and uh, so here's another one to express this prostitutes gather in in davos for annual meeting of global elite where demand for sexual services rockets during economic summit now i wonder uh were these people thinking about their escorts or were they missing their families at home or were they thinking about deliberating on these pressing issues for the world this is what the civilized this is what we call the civilized world brothers and sisters this is what we call the civilized world it's time you know at least muslims should wake up and realize there is no good that is going to come out of a group of people that are living this type of lifestyle they're not going to be able to solve the world problems no what they will do is to put us deeper in the quicksand they're going to put us deeper into the problems they are going to put us in a worse situation because these are not people who are serious about anything other than themselves they don't care about the poor these are people who are instead of fighting slavery which is what prostitution basically is this form of slavery this form of many times forced slavery and just sim the sim the symbolism the symbolism of uh 
of forced slavery, human trafficking comes from prostitutes. And so prostitutes, you can, you know, and, and, and these sex workers, as they call it, and they can, uh, you know, I, this talk that I'm doing, I want to give the credit where it goes. Mona, uh, 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 may Allah preserve him. He was giving a talk on this topic and I thought I should touch on it too. Um, because he did it in Urdu, so I thought I'll do it in English and add my own two cents to it. Uh, prostitutes report a huge surge in business during the annual gathering. This is the Hajj of the elite. This is the Hajj of the elite brothers and sisters. And what are they doing? They're being if they're cheating on their spouses, if they're cheating on their family members, they're not going to cheat on the rest of the world. Escorts are booked into delegate hotels alongside business executives, right? The, the, the hotels are booked, just like Hajj. The hotels are booked. The escorts are booked. Sex workers dress in business attire and rub shoulders with global elite, right? So this is what's happening. So uh, what... Uh, I'm going to talk more aspects of this uh, maybe tomorrow, but... Prostitution thrives during the WEF in in Davos, okay. And uh, demand for escort services rockets during WEF summit, okay. Now these people, the civilized world, will tell us Muslims that uh, you know we exploit people. The uh, the what the right hand possesses and slavery and Islam. They're going to tell us this when they're fully exploiting human beings, fully exploiting women, making women to objects while they're having their Hajj pilgrimage and discussing all these important matters of the world. Subhanallah. That's what the civilized world is. And this is where the Muslim world is running blindly. Blindly to the hands of these people. Blindly running into the hands of these people that this is the morality that they're going to give you. They're going to talk about human rights, but yet exploit humans. Talk about human rights, but make human beings into objects. These are the people that are going to deliver you and give you, uh, the, the, the sacred place of the woman, the wife, the sister, the mother. These are the people that are going to deliver you. These are the people that are going to make women into objects in the, in, in the name of sex workers, in the name of uh, escorts, and call it what a great job it is, what a great skill it is. So, this is the fitna. This is the trial. This is what an average Muslim can't see that at whose hands is his fate and instead of taking our fate into our hands and establishing our khilafa and our jama and our ethics and our our civilization according to our standards you want to go where the progressives are going you want to go where the civilized world where the global elite is going these people are going to solve our problems these people who care about nothing but themselves and don't care if they're cheating on their wives by the way if you happen to be one of those uh, family members who's maybe relative happened to go to wef um you know well i'll leave that for now but Clearly, a place that is inviting shaitan to it, doing what the first sin of not even this is even worse than that because what the prostitution, but the first meaning trick of shaitan is to get the man to take off his clothes, and this is the place of shaitan. This is where shaitan is bringing the elite for. This is where shaitan's hajj gathering is, so to say. Bring the elites together. Do to them what I did to Adam wasalam, Get them shameless. Get them naked. And make these people the rulers of the world. 
so that the world will go to hell as shaitan already says that's what he wants to do and when you take the world towards hell what is happening what is the muslim ummah doing saying hey this is wrong why do we have this type of why is not no muslim leader standing up and saying hey this is exploitation of women what is happening here no muslim leader will say that because they're all blind Maybe they're indulging themselves. I don't know. Allahu alam. But if you go to a place like that, and many Muslim scholars go there too, and I'm not trying to imply anything, but I'm trying to imply that why are not other Muslim scholars concerned about where the global elites are taking the world? I'm going to talk more about that tomorrow if Allah wills. But this is what the global elite Hajj looks like this is what the progressives look like this is what the civilized world looks like these people are the people who dare to lay a finger towards islam towards prophet muhammad these are the people who talk about morality and ethics these are the people who talk about taking the world into a better future these are the people who who we place our confidence in because they're good at doing marketing If Muslims don't wake up, uh, they're going to go into... You know how Dajjal had paradise and hell and paradise was actually hell? This is like that. Where they're taking you, if you know about the fourth industrial revolution, is going to be hell. It's going to be hell. But it will be given the the zina, the, you can say the gold, the fake gold plating of this is what beauty is. This is what's good. You're exploiting someone's mother. You're exploiting someone's sister. You're exploiting someone's wife. And you're a civilized people. Yes, very, very civilized. You know, I think they're so civilized that I think we haven't seen this type of being civilized. Like, I can't think of a time where there was a hudge of people coming together, the elites coming together to make global decisions, and then there's a hajj of the prostitutes there too. Can you think of a situation like that? The world escorts booked. I mean, what, I mean booked? It's not like one or two people. You're talking about hundreds, even close to thousands of people. They're booked. Hotels are booked. And they're charging, you know, if you read the interviews, I didn't want to go, they're charging $700, $2,000. Right? They're talking about how they've been coming here for years. Right? This is like an annual thing for them. Right? And here's the other thing that I wanted to really talk about is that how do we know that a lot of these girls are not being used to blackmail the elite into going into a certain direction? Right? People have certain vices. People have certain weaknesses. We're all human beings. But then you have a politician who loves his wife. But then, you know, his friends were doing it, and then he did it, and now he's being blackmailed. So now when you have the global elite there, and they can all, you trust me, you. Trust me, you. They know in which hotels these people are living in, and they will make sure they have a picture of every single person that's involved in the WE forum. Every single person involved in the WE forum will be potentially blackmailed. That is a fact. That goes without saying. Just look at the tactics of Musad. Just read the history of how they have used women to get to many of the uh, Palestinian uh, activists, including many Hamas people, using women, using women. You know, and uh, men have vices. Men fall for seduction. And if you're not careful with the principles that Islam gives, well, you're going to be blackmailed, you're going to be caught, you're going to be cornered, and you're going to be threatened, and your fam family life and everything you've built till that time will be threatened. What should a Muslim leader do if he's being threatened? What should a Muslim leader do if he's being threatened? I'll tell you what he should do. He should call the bluff. He should call the bluff, and he will be a bigger hero when he calls the bluff, and if they bring out all of his vices on TV 
And he says, this is what happened. They took a video. If he exposes the elite for who they are, he will be a bigger hero in the eyes of many. But if he doesn't expose them and falls for their threats and falls for the fear, then he will have no life, no freedom, no end of stress, no end of looking behind your back, and you will be caught at the end anyway. Right? And so it's better to cut your losses than to fall prey to this because too much is at risk. And so this goes for any Muslim leader or any leader for that matter. But I don't know if any Muslims or non-Muslims thought that, you know, these hotels are booked and the escort companies are booked, right? Just like when you go for Hajj, the travel agencies, they get booked and they're given, okay, you'll be in this hotel, you'll be in this hotel, this is your place, this is your place, this is where these people are going to be, this is where these people are going to be. Well, subhanAllah, well, you got you got the, the hajj of the civilized people and we know what they're doing. And uh, these are the people that in this situation, how are they going to solve the problems of the world? أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته